It's your time to begin. Let's begin. Up first, we have in front of me Motia, number 16. Motia, number 16. This is the question. Recognizing the rich cultural heritage of South Cotabato, particularly the significance of Tinala cloth in traditional identity and artistic expression, how would you define the beauty and essence of a motia ng South Cotabato, taking into account her cultural pride, resilience, and contributions to her community? One more time. Recognizing the rich cultural heritage of South Cotabato, particularly the significance of Tinala cloth in traditional identity and artistic expression, how would you define the beauty and essence of Amotiana South Cotabato, taking into account her cultural pride, resilience, and contributions to her community? I believe that South Cotabato is blessed with breathtaking landscape, cultural diversity, and the warmth of its people. South Cotabato's cultural diversity is one of its greatest strengths, as it serves as a melting pot for culture and tradition. And as a South Cotabatenia, I serve my beauty as a purpose, such as my inner vibrant that vibrates to the panorama of South Cotabato. And truly, if we just reflect on South Cotabato's triumph and victory, we also take pride in understanding the importance of South Cotabato's beauty. And with this, we can make South Cotabato truly angat sa lahat. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Mutya number 16. Juan. Are you ready for the question? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. All right, here it is. Recognizing the rich cultural heritage of South Cotabato, Tabato, particularly the significance of Tinalak cloth in traditional identity and artistic expression, how would you define the beauty and essence of Amotiana South Cotabato, taking into account her cultural pride, resilience, and contributions to her community? I'll say it again. Recognizing the rich cultural heritage of South Cotabato, particularly the significance of Tinala cloth in traditional identity and artistic expression, how would you define the beauty and essence of Amutian ng South Cotabato, taking into account her cultural pride, resilience, and contributions to her community? A true Mutya ng South Cotabato is a woman who leads as an example to her fellow South Cotabatenos that every dream is possible, but through hard work, through commitment, and through perseverance. And as a student nurse, I believe that I'm still in the process of weaving my dreams to become a professional license someday. And if I were to have a ultimate goal for South Cotabato to showcase its cultural heritage, not just for our whole country to see, but for the whole universe. With that being said, I want to bring South Cotabato in the stage of Miss Universe because it's a high time that the empowered South Cotabatenia shows the best of South Cotabato. Thank you so much, Mutia, number one. All right, Motia number 14, are you ready? Wait, wait for a minute because I have a difficulty with my ear. I'm sensitive with the noise. Gotcha. But I will be ready. You will be ready for this. All right, here is your question. Here we go. Recognizing the rich cultural heritage of South Cotabato, particularly the significance of Tinala cloth in traditional identity and artistic expression, how would you define the beauty and essence of Amotiana ng South Cotabato, taking into account her cultural pride, resilience, and contributions to her community? One more time. Recognizing the rich cultural heritage of South Cotabato, particularly the significance of Tinala cloth in traditional identity and artistic expression, how would you define the beauty and essence of Amotiana ng South Cotabato, taking into account her cultural pride, resilience, and contributions to her community. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. When I want, as the Diwata ng Pulomno in our municipality, I conducted the Pulomno Kenya's Fem Focus with 350 participants. But now, as the Mutya ng South Katabato, I will always go back to my history. And my contribution is to develop steward leadership with my fellow South Katabatenyas. I want to capitalize my skills, my experiences, and my credentials to build them as a better South Katabatenya. Because it is not just about the plethora of changes in our province, but it is about the Mutya ng South Katabato's presendo of legacy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mutya number 14.